Okay, I'm going to make a poster about the Serengeti. So I've gone into Google, gone to the Google Images, and I've typed in Serengeti, and you can see I've got these amazing photographs I'm going to use. So I'm going to click date. So just click one, save images, and I've already started putting them into there. So I've put the first one in, and what I've done is I've collected eight different ones just by clicking on them right clicking and saving the image and I've collected up eight different images once you've done that you go to pickmonkey.com and create a collage over here for the images if you drop down menu it says from my computer you can then open the images that you've collected so I'm going to click on the first one, finger on the shift, click the last one and you can upload all eight at the same time. So there are the images I've collected. You're now going to choose the template for your collage. You're going to click on the layout and you've got different combinations. I'm just going to go to this one and choose this one here, which is one image and then smaller ones surrounding it. Go back to my images now and I'm going to drag and drop the images into these squares. If you change your mind about which ones you want where, you can just move them around. And that was the last one. Once the images are in, you can move it around to position it slightly better if you want to. Oh, I've got that one twice, which is the one I've missed, the giraffe. So we'll put the giraffe on top and I'll just move the giraffe over. Likewise, you can just slightly change the size if you want. And I'll move that picture over a little bit. When I go to the frame and choose the paint down the bottom, I'm going to make it a transparent background, but you can if you like, take the transparent off and add coloured backgrounds. You can change spacing, make it wider, smaller, or and you can make your images slightly rounded. So I'm going to make mine rounded, spacing just a little bit more, but I'm going to have a transparent background. Okay, I'm now going to save that image. I'm going to save the image. as pick monkey uh, I'll just call it Serengeti collage okay and save say yes to that and save okay so that's my image I'm now going to go back to pick monkey I'm just going to refresh the page and I'm going to edit a photo this time and I'm going to upload that collage that I've just made. Once it's there, I can add some text by clicking on the t letter over here. And I'm just going to choose Impact and Add Text. I then get a text box, I'm going to position it up here, start typing Serengeti. I put Serengeti Safari. Okay, I can select that and change the colour. I'm going to choose bright yellow. I wonder if that will stand out or just see. Yep, that's okay. And then I can just position it. And I can add more text to the other images if I want to. I'm going to leave it like that for now. I'm just going to add a border and can put all sorts of borders on and here film edge all sorts of different types I am going to stick to probably a plain one just a rounded edge one and you can add um, different themes and stickers and things okay Right. I'm going to save that now 
and download that image. And save that photo. And yes, I'm replacing it with the one with text on. Okay, what I'm going to do now is open a publisher document. So Microsoft Publisher. I'm going to get a blank document, A4 landscape, A4 landscape, and create that. I'm just going to make the margins smaller, so arrange layout guides. I'm going to take my margin guides down to just one centimeter all the way around. Okay, so they're slightly smaller. Right, I'm going to put the image that I've just saved in the center. So I'm going to insert picture from file, go to my desktop, find that Serengeti folder that I made, which is here, and this was the one that I've just created. I'm going to make it smaller and just center it. I'm going to put some word art in the top, so insert picture word art and I'm going to choose a chunky sort of word art and I'm going to choose impact because that's quite a fat text there it is, and change the text to Serengeti and Type it in capital letters. Okay, and I'm going to stretch that across the width of the page. Like that. Right, now I want to fill that with a texture that appears to look like an animal skin. So going back onto the internet, Google Images, I've typed in animal fur, and you can see we've got all these different textures that look like animals. Okay, I am just going to choose uh, this giraffe skin here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to save that image. I'm just going to save it onto my desktop. Okay, go back to my Word uh, publisher document and go to the fill effect for the word art. Choose a pitch fill, select the picture, and we'll find that animal fur, which I put onto my desktop. And there it is, so now I'm now going to fill that with that. So it just gives a nice effect. And you can perhaps change the line to a different colour as well. Okay. What I'm going to do now is to just add text boxes with information about the Serengeti. Just a few text boxes around the side. Right, I'm going to open one that I've already done. Just on my desktop, just find it. Make it a little bit wider, easier to see. Alright, let's see. Open file. This recent publication. So, open. No, it's going to make me search for it. Desktop. Here we go, Serengeti, Publisher. Right, there we go, and there's one I've already done. With, again, with some text on my images, put a map on on that one, and just four pieces of information about the Serengeti. And that could, in fact, be saved as a PDF file and then uploaded to their Google Apps accounts.